Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Just a quick sales update I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I had an awesome week on eBay um, so far, mainly because of the fantastic garage sale that I went to a couple weeks ago, which is probably going to be the video right before this one. Uh, I ended up spending, I think, $53, but probably about 45 of it was actually for stuff that I was selling. The rest of it were some things that I found for us. Um, so I listed the vast majority of it. I think maybe just one or two things haven't gone up yet. And let's see, Monday night I sold an Easton Press book that I found there on the last day of the sale. I went Saturday and then I went back Sunday afternoon right before it closed just to see if there was anything else I could find. I found an Easton Press book which you'll see in the previous video. I don't have it here now because I already had to send it out. But um, Easton Press are very collectible. Plus this one was signed um, by James Watson. It was called The Double Helix about the um, discovery of the double helix of DNA. Uh, it was a signed limited edition. I bought it for a dollar. I sold it for a hundred and seventy. I probably could have put it in the store for more and sat on it for a while, but you know, I thought a hundred and seventy dollars was a great profit on a dollar investment, so I'll take it. And I also sold some of these sets. I had three of these initially. These are the Spode Archive Collection, and this one, as you can see, is the Italian. I also had the Tower and the Greek, and this was the only one that didn't sell, although I had some watchers on it, and now that I rolled it over in the store, I already have some watchers on it. So I shouldn't have a problem selling this one. But I initially put these up for $30 a piece, and these are very hard to find, these jumbo mugs with these jumbo saucers and I sold the Greek one for $30 and then the tower mug these two people were fighting over it and it ended up going for $66 I was very happy about that and then yesterday I sold some of these project life things that I bought at Michaels Michaels had a really really good clearance sale. It was 50% off their already reduced prices and Project Life is a very popular um, scrapbooking line. So I bought all these pages, bought some of these cards, and then I have a bunch of other things downstairs that haven't sold yet. But all of these sold to the same woman. She paid about $35 for them. I initially paid, I think, around 8 So I made a decent profit on those. Then I also sold a set of these little um, ice cream dishes. These are from Faultcraft. I bought these probably about a month, month and a half ago and paid $2, sold the set for $20. And then I had a bunch of auctions ending last night with some of the items from the really awesome garage sale. So I had three of these Airman needlepoint kits that you'll see in the previous video. I got a whole huge shopping bag full of needlepoint stuff. And three of the kits were these Airman kits, which apparently are very desirable. Um, it worked out to about 50 cents an item in the bag. It paid seven bucks for the bag, and there were about 14 things in there. So this cost me about 50 cents, and I made $50 on that. Then there was this one, which is a seahorse. Also paid 50 cents, made $100 on that. And then this one's going to the same person that bought the blue frog one that I just showed you. Again, paid 50 cents, made 101 on that. And then this one is not Airmon. This is just a 
hand painted canvas. Um, I did a little research. It said it was by a woman named Melissa Shirley because this one's unmarked. It just has one little number and the year down here. I think it's 1996. Yeah, 1996. Anyway, did a little research on this, put this up for 100 and again, sold this one for $100. So that is, what, $350 worth of needlepoint kits and I still have 10 more things in the bag to sell. Although those were the best ones. I won't make as much on the other ones. And then last but not least, I have this. This wooden horse. It's by Nils Olsen, made in Sweden. And I always buy Scandinavian things. If anyone watches me regularly, you know that I love to buy anything. Scandinav Scandinavian, Danish, modern, all that kind of stuff. So I picked this guy up, had some damage on the ear, paid two bucks for him. And this is apparently called a Dala horse, D-A-L-A. -A, and it was, um, they were wooden toys, I guess, years ago in Sweden. And now they're considered kind of like folk art pieces. This one's 10 inches tall. They come in different sizes. This is one of the bigger ones. They do come, I think, I believe one size bigger than this. The majority of them are red or a dark blue. So white is kind of a more difficult color to find. I put this guy up for $25. I had a lot of washers on it. And I think the second day I had it up, some guy asked me if I would take 30 bucks as a buy it now. And I said, absolutely not, letting the auction run its course. And I'm very happy that I did because this little guy ended up selling for $112.50. So not bad for a two dollar investment and it was funny because i brought this upstairs to show my husband and i thought you know i would hear his typical what <laughs> but instead he looked at it and this man knows nothing about antiques collectibles folk art hold on one second okay sorry about that he knows nothing about antiques or collectibles or anything like that but i brought this up and i showed it to him and i told him how much it sold for and he goes oh that's one of those Swedish horses and I just looked at him like he had three heads I'm like I go how on earth do you know that oh my goodness go away okay sorry um and he said He's like, well, I've worked at Volvo for, for 20 years. He goes, of course I know what that is. I go, okay, I didn't know Volvo dealt in, you know, folk art wooden horses. He's like, no, 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 they got them in the display cases, you know, out on the sales floor and stuff. I'm like, ah, okay. So anyway, I was very impressed that he knew what this is. And apparently he says that the different colors actually mean different things. So I haven't done that much research on them, but I'll have to see. All right, I have to go now because this phone is driving me crazy. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.